Tyre Nichols was beaten by Memphis police officers for three minutes while being treated like a human piata in a savage incident that was reminiscent of the infamous police beating of Los Angeles driver Rodney King in 1991, the family's counsel claimed on Monday. Upon being pulled over on January 7 while coming from a suburban park where he had snapped pictures of the sunset, the 29-year-old FedEx employee and father was pepper-sprayed, shocked, and detained, according to attorney Ben Crump and family video saw on Monday. Nichols, a black guy, was booted, according to another attorney, Antonio Romanucci, before Crump interrupted him and prevented him from continuing. Crump claimed that the video demonstrates how violent and troublesome on every level the interaction was. It was savage, according to Romanucci, and out of proportion to the accused act. Due to the prospect of rioting, the city has been on edge regarding the publication of the police film. Rodney Wells, Nichols' stepfather, requested that any protests be calm, stating that using violence is not what Tyre wanted and won't bring him back. Family members claim that the cops beat Nichols, resulting in a heart attack and kidney failure in him. Nichols just had a medical emergency, according to the authorities. The Tennessee Bureau of Probe is investigating whether excessive force was used during the arrest, and the U.S. Justice Department has launched a civil rights investigation into it. Following a police investigation, it was determined that five of the officers engaged in the arrest used excessive force or did not step in to help. Memphis Police Director Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis made this announcement on Friday. To Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills, Jr., and Justin Smith were the officers' names. The latest high-profile death to shock the community is the Nichols case. Memphis has witnessed several violent crimes since November 2021, including the murder of rapper Young Dolph in a daytime ambush at a bakery, a crime spree in which a man is accused of killing three people and injuring three more, the killing of a United Methodist church pastor during a carjacking in her driveway, and the early morning abduction of a jogger whose body was later discovered near a house.